Hey guys, so it's been a few weeks since I bought my very first 3D printer, which is the Bamboo Lab A1 mini printer with the AMS combo. And I have to say that I'm quite impressed with the performance and the quality of this printer. It is super easy to use and very beginner friendly. So it's a perfect entry level 3D printer. Now that being said, I made six upgrades to the printer, which is in my opinion, the best upgrades for the A1 mini. And if you have one, you should probably consider getting them too. So the first upgrade is the PMS or the poop management system. This PMS here has a super sleek design. And if you print it in white, it goes perfect with your A1 mini printer. Now the PMS comes with the docking base, which you need to tape to the printer, but you actually don't need those. I printed mine without them because I don't feel like sticking anything onto the printer and I don't want to waste any material. The PMS doesn't topple easily or anything, so I just place it next to the printer and that's it. The second upgrade is the Sunlu spool adapter. Now you probably won't be needing this if you don't have the AMS and if you're using the original Bamboo Lab filaments. But if you do have the AMS and if you're using Sunlu filaments, then you definitely need one or maybe four. The hole in the middle of the sunlu spool is way too big to fit into the AMS light spool holder, so the adapter is the perfect solution for it. The third upgrade is the A1 mini handle. I move my printer a lot, so this handle is such a lifesaver. You just need to remove the original covers at the top of the Z axis though, but don't worry, they are super easy to remove. You can then install the handle. The next upgrade is the scraper. You will get the blade when you buy the printer. And you can find the pre-sliced file of the scraper in the SD card, which comes with the printer. So you basically just need to hit print. The fifth upgrade is the plate holder. Now you can find a lot of A1 mini plate holders on Maker World. But I went with this one because I like how simple the design is and it can also hold four plates at a time. This plate holder complements the design of the printer perfectly, in my opinion. The last upgrade, which is kind of optional, is the A1 mini toolbox. The toolbox is easy to assemble and you need like six screws for it. But if you don't feel like driving to the hardware store to get those six screws, you can just print some pins and they work just fine. The toolbox keeps your tools neatly organized and you even have extra space to store your replacement nozzles. So those are the six upgrades I did for my A1 Mini. And if you have any other suggestions, please let me know in the comments. And I hope you liked the video. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.